Antimicrobial resistance or AMR uh, is one of the most serious public health problems of today, as been highlighted by the WHO and several other international bodies. The magnitude of the problem can also be uh, described by the fatality of the infectious disease that cannot be anymore treated by antimicrobials. So in the US alone, uh, the number of deaths uh, is in the order of 25,000 annually, uh, globally, this number would be in 700,000 and some projections up to 2050 say that antimicrobial resistance could actually end up in 10 million deaths annually. Well, I would start by noting that the primary care here is really in the key role in tackling AMR. The reason being that the majority of antimicrobial prescriptions are actually given in primary health care. And the one uh, most important clinical situation is a acute respiratory tract infection, which comprises like three-fourths of all calls to primary health care. And in this situation, uh, during the call of a patient to a primary health care setting, it's really important to get to the diagnosis rapidly, so within that very short period of the call. And of course, the, the question by the clinician is whether to prescribe antimicrobial treatment or not. So it is between differentiating bacterial from viral infections. The value of a test that can reliably rule out bacterial infection, uh, that's one key element of a good test for primary health care. And this is uh, what CRP stands for. It's a well-known uh, marker. It's a non-specific marker, but we do know that if the CRP value is below the threshold, then we know that we can uh, rely on, on symptom treatment and no antimicrobial treatment is needed. In countries where actually CRP testing has been used, there are reports showing that up around 30% of inappropriate antimicrobial prescriptions can be actually avoided, which re relates to very beneficial effects on the antimicrobial resistance patterns in that given country. Another important uh, use of the CRP test, and especially the quantitative CRP test, is to follow up the treatment of a patient. In other words, if you have a patient who actually has bacterial infection and needs antimicrobial treatment, then taking the CRP test periodically, one can see that the CRP level in blood starts decreasing. And this actually tells us that the given antimicrobial treatment is working on that patient. One important point for the primary healthcare use with CRP tests is actually uh, having a test that you can use during the visit, which can be as short as five minutes per patient, and yet you need the CRP value. So it really is crucial that the test is very rapid. So you should have the test result within a few minutes from taking the blood sample.